So, I think it might be the alternator. So, what do we do now? It'll be dark soon. We might as well camp here tonight. Come on. Is this gonna make us late to Camp Trustfall? Um, it depends. It depends on when we get the truck up and running. We're definitely not gonna be there early. I don't know, I just don't wanna get yelled at. I'm sure Bob would understand. I mean, I'm not talking about Bob. I'm talking about Miss Crowell. Like she's a mean old winch. <laughs> I'd rather do Miss Crowell. Roger, that dude's a spaz. <laughs> Harry, I think someone's trying to take the truck. Stay here. I'll be right back. Son of a bitch must have ran off. Well, maybe, maybe we shouldn't stay here tonight. Amy, it's fine. You, whoever it is ran off and we have nowhere else to go tonight. Well, what if, what if he comes back? Well, that's what this is for. It's gas! Do we really have to do this? Why do we have to babysit a bunch of kids all summer? <sighs> Will you just relax? I used to have a lot of fun at this camp when I was a kid. This summer is going to be great. You'll see. 
You were tin, Tiff. It's not the same thing. Do I look like I want to go to a summer camp? No. Kimberly wants to party. Well, there's gonna be boys there. Ugh, boys are men, because if they look anything like Ricky Stevens, I'm gonna barf. Just chill out, okay? There's gonna be plenty of nice guys at camp. Nice isn't exactly what I'm looking for. We better have some fun this summer. We will. Hey, can you pull over there at the store, please? We're already running late. <sighs> I'm dying for a drink. Fine. Go get me a soda, will you? No way, go get your own soda. I'm sorry, he's dragging who across the state to go to our childhood summer camp? I think the least you can do is grab me a drink while I enjoy my final moments of freedom. Fine. service, please. Gotcha. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not funny, Cam. Yeah, What's the matter? You having trouble getting serviced? No, there's just nobody here. Yeah, there is. I saw a guy through the window after he came in here. Are you serious? Yeah, he was right back in there. Come on, man. Get off the can. Let's go. I tell you what. My friend Tiffany here will show you her tits if you come out right oh now. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Stop, what if he heard you? That's the idea, you got a better one? <laughs> hey guy, my friend will give you a hand job if you come out right now. Oh my god, no, shut up, seriously. <laughs> she thinks you're cute, stop. I'll give her your number. <laughs> please stop, please stop. Oh, just stop. Well, well, I'm tired of waiting. Can we just go? We still have to pay. You don't want to be late for your precious camp trust ball orientation, do you? No. <sighs> but we can't leave without paying. Fine, leave the money on the counter. But what about my chain? Excuse the change, let's just go. What a freak. What? Hey guys, look at out through the window right now. Should I, should I turn around? <sighs> no, that guy's a weirdo. Hey, I'm sorry about that. I've been on the road a long time. Thank you for picking me up. Ugh. 
So, who are we waiting for? The three new counselors. Three new faces? That's so exciting. And my fault. Deterris, you have to be shitting me. I thought I was too old to be a counselor. Yeah. I had to do something. With what happened with Terry and Amy, we were going to be short-staffed. Yeah, that was pretty horrible. But I mean, who would put their tent so close to the fire? <laughs> well, at least we're fully staffed this year. Not exactly. One of the new counselors is in a wheelchair. Jesus Christ, Bob. I mean, how's he going to get around here? Shove him in a closet until the end of summer for all I care. <sighs> Whatever. I'll handle it. You're damn right you will. Mr. Leahy, Roger, it's good to see you guys again. Michelle, pleasure as always. Can it, Michael. Glad to have you back with us. Thanks, Bob. Yo, Mikey. Hey, what's up, bro? Good to see you, man. Hell yeah. yeah. You know you're coming back this year. Dude, are you kidding me? This place could run without me. Um, sure. Through a series of unfortunate events, Mr. Deterris is with us for one more year, but one more year only. I hope you're ready for another exciting summer. Hell yeah, I am. Hey, I heard we got some uh, fresh meat this summer. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, no fraternizing with the new counselors, Mr. Deterris. Come on, Michelle. You know you're my one and only, my bell. It's Ms. Crowell, smartass. So, uh, who else we got this year? Oh, we got Zach and Hampton in Cabin 5. Are you kidding me, Zach? Not that asshole again. Hey, watch your fucking language, Mr. Deterris. Zach! Zach is a vital part of our campers' physical fitness and sports programs. It's also a uh, dick with ears. I'm sorry, what was that, Michael? Zach, I'm sorry, man. I must have, uh, must have seen you standing there. Is that right? Yeah. Hey, Bob, when are you going to get me some real help around here, huh? These two are nothing but a bunch of slackers. Look at them. Hmm. They're just here for the free ride. That's why I'm so drawn to his mom. You better shut the fuck it out! I'll fucking wreck you! Get off your Hey, come on! Go. Will you guys cut it out? Todd and Michael are favorites among our young campers. Yeah, well, let me explain something to you. This, right here, is not a popularity contest. It's about getting the kids in shape. Dude, they're kids. They come to summer camp to have fun and make friends. You know, that's the exact kind of mentality that'll have them looking like you. Instead of looking like me. Is that right? Last thing any of us want is more of him walking around. Gentlemen, I believe two of our new counselors are here. Hi. Hello, ladies. You must be Tiffany and Kimberly. Yeah, hi. I'm Tiffany and this is Kim. I'm Bob Leahy, the camp owner. Hi. This is Michelle and Roger. Hi. And some of our returning counselors. I want you to show them around, get them acquainted with everything. We're supposed to have a third new counselor, but I don't know where he's at. Hey! Hey, guys! I'm coming, guys! What is that? Looks like meals on wheels. Speak of the devil, that would be Donnie, our other new counselor. Bob, I found him by the gate. I'm assuming he belongs to you. Sorry I'm late. My dad dropped me off at the end of the road. I'm Bob Leahy, the camp owner. Oh, nice to meet you, Bob. This is Michelle. If you need anything, you go see her. Do not come to me. He's our new counselor. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. For those of you that do not know, this is Miss Victoria Parker, our account director. Please make sure you see her today if you wanna get paid. Hi everyone. I need your IDs and for you to fill out a form for payroll. And Bob, if you have a moment, I need to speak with you. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but I have a lot of work to do. 
I'm going to leave you in very capable hands with Michelle and Roger. It was really nice meeting you. See you, Bob. Roger, I have to go run a camp. They're all yours. That's not how this works, Michelle. You're not my boss. We're supposed to be a team, remember? Co-camp director. Poor Roger. She's never going to respect you. <sighs> Nobody's going to respect the fun police over here. He's only co-camp director because he's Lady's cousin. Uh, don't listen to him, Roger. You got this, man. Well, like it or not, Zach, I'm in charge. And I know we're going to have a great time this summer. So we're going to have to all learn to get along. Now, moving on, ladies, you're going to find we have a great time here at camp. But one thing we're pretty strict on is being on time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Todd, Michael, you go ahead and show the girls around. Zach, you got Donnie. What? No. Sorry, Zach. I'm in charge, remember? <laughs> Just drop it right here. Yep. All right, ladies. This is your cabin. So one of you take the one on the left, the other, the right, and the nurse's station is right down the trail here. And then right next to that is the mess hall. By the way, watch out for Larry the cook. That dude's a huge pervert. OK, so what are we supposed to do after we unpack? You Mrs. Crowder didn't really say. What are you guys doing? I'm checking the canoes and making sure they're not all messed up. I have to check the zip line in the rock wall. You guys want some company? Sure, cool. yeah. Tell you what, I'll go with Michael and Tiffany here. You can go with Todd. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, would you guys give us a couple minutes to put our stuff away? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Ow! What was that for? What are you doing? What? <laughs> you know what. Oh, come on. I can tell you like Todd, and I won't hate Michael. How can I like him? I don't even know him. And how can you get to know him if you're not around him? Okay, well, you know I didn't come here to hook up. <sighs> come on, Tip. Listen, you promised me boys. You dragged me all the way out here. You said we were gonna have fun. I'm gonna loosen up. I need you to loosen up too. I can't. This job, it's too important to me. And I don't wanna get distracted by a guy. Look. Can we please just go find Miss Carl and find out what we're supposed to be doing? Fine. You unpack and let the guys know we're not coming. Thank you. All set? Did Kim leave already? Oh, yeah. She just left with Mike. Of course she did. Something wrong? No, no. Everything's fine. Your friend tricked you, didn't she? How did you know? Mike does it to me all the time. Really? Yeah. But he means well. It's not that I didn't want to hang out with you, you know. It's just that I really don't want to mess this up. And my friend, all she cares about are guys. It's OK, I get it. My friend's the same way. Mike doesn't take things too seriously. Well, it sounds like your friend and my friend are perfect for each other. Maybe. Listen, you don't have to help me. I can take you to Mrs. Parker's office. It's right up the way. I know where it is. I used to go to camp here as a kid. Yeah. I've been coming since I was 14. How come I've never seen you? Well, I haven't been here since I was 12. You know, after my parents got divorced, they just Stop sending me. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. You know, it's kind of the opposite for me. Yeah, that's why my old man sent me here just to get rid of me. But it all worked out, though. I mean, I met Mike, and 
This place is a lot better than my home life. Yeah. I really missed it here. Yeah. Hey, do you guys still tell the kids that creepy camp legend? <laughs> legend? What legend? Like, you know. Every camp has one, and it's literally always the same. Some vengeful camper coming back and taking revenge on the camp, you know? Mm, never heard of that one. Really? Mm-mm. Huh. I guess not everything is the way I remember it. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm sure all the best parts are all still the same. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm gonna go find out what Miss Parker wants me to do. Sure, yeah, yeah, I, uh, guess I'll catch you later. Okay. See ya. See ya. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He's fine. Uh, well, help me get him up. Okay, so put your arms around me. Here we go. One, two, three. Uh, 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 thanks. You're welcome. Uh, oh, here. Are these yours? Oh, uh, yeah. Those are mine. You know what happens more than you think? Just. Get some crazy good life, like an extra pair too, it's fine. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Caught this little creep looking through my window while I was changing. I was not looking. I thought this was my cabin. I thought Zach was showing you around. He was. Kind of. He brought me here and then left. Zach told you this was your cabin? Yeah. What kind of person would do such a thing? Who the hell are you? Hi, yeah, I'm Tiffany. I'm one of the new counselors. Todd was just showing me around, and then I heard the scream, and so I came. Todd was showing you around? Yeah. I didn't know he was here yet. Yeah. You know, he's really sweet. Are you two friends? <laughs> well, we're a little more than friends. Remember that. Oh. You know what? Why don't you help me find my cabin? You know what? That is great. Why don't you take wheels to go find his cabin, and I'll go find my boyfriend, Todd. You know, yeah, I, I can do that. Um, that way you two can catch up, and look, I really didn't mean to imply that. Great, carry on. Wow. So, Donnie, is this your first time at camp? Yeah, first time. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome, I'm, well, I hope you have a really great summer. Also, I know it's going to be a little hard, you know, being in a wheelchair and all, but I want you to know that I'll help you in any way I can. Ah, well, thanks. I uh, get to be around a beautiful girl all summer, so uh, can't get that at my apartment. <laughs> You're very sweet. <sighs> oh, fuck. You need to slow down on that shit, man. If you fall out on the fucking floor, I'm gonna leave you there. Joe, chill out, all right? I gotta fucking deal with these little fucking shitbags all day. This is the only thing that gets me through without putting a bullet through my fucking brain. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the kind of positive attitude I like to hear from our cook. Hey, 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 how you doing, Michelle? Uh, yeah, and, um, you're looking lovely today. Save the flattery, Larry. I don't know why Mr. Leahy insists on hiring you every year, but you fuck up one time, I'm gonna throw your ass out of here and you won't even know what's happening. Oh, uh, look, Michelle, that was the old Larry. This is the new Larry, new and improved, right? I'm a reformed man. You're gonna see, I'm gonna be employee of the month here. You're gonna be proud of me. Get back to work. Fucking shit all over the counter. Clean it up. Straighten up, Larry.
is so boring. Well, you know, it would go a lot quicker if I uh, had a little help over here. <sighs> Canoes aren't exactly my thing. Well, you can at least, you know, talk to me. Keep me company. <laughs> Listen here, Mike. You seem like a nice guy. But I was only trying to help my girl Tiffany get some alone time with a friend. A nice guy. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of a dweeb. Not exactly cool. What do you consider cool, then? More of a partier. Like smoke. All right. Come with me, then. Wait. Where are we going? Oh, you'll see when we get there. Hey guys! Jesus! What the hell? Are you knocking next time? Um, I did knock. You just couldn't hear me. Over this junk you were listening to. Who's this? That's Kimberly. She's uh, new at camp this year. Hey. Hi, I'm Stacy. I'm Hampton. Kimberly here, she uh, she likes to party. Oh yeah? But uh, she thinks that because we're camp counselors, that we don't know how to party. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You guys smoke? What the hell else do you think we do around here? I can kiss you! I'll just be a minute. Did you forget something? Oh! Cornbread, why don't you go and uh, alphabetize the soup cans or something? What are you talking about? We don't do anything with the can. Well then, why don't you go take my fucking mayonnaise in the back and stir it? Alright, I'll stir you there, man. Such a bitch. Hey, look, I'm really sorry about that. It's just hard to find good help out in the woods, you know? So, uh, what's your name there, Sugar Lips? It's Tiffany. Tiffany? Now, that is a beautiful name. I guess you're one of the new counselors here, huh, Tiffany? Yeah, it's actually my first year as a counselor, but um, I went to a camp here when I was a kid. You don't really look old enough to be a counselor. Well, I'm 20, so... You ever been with an older man, Tiffany? Can I just get my food, please? Yeah, sure. That should fill up that tight little belly of yours. But look, Tiffany, uh, you ever get hungry in the middle of the night or horny, and uh, you need a little something extra, walk on down to Toll Larry's cabin and uh, he'll uh, put a nice big piece of meat in that tight little body of yours. Hey, little girl, I'm talking to you. You don't want to go fucking with the man who makes your food now, do you? Hey, needle dick, leave my friend alone. There ain't no reason to go throwing insults around. I'm just uh, talking nice to the pretty little lady. Next time you get friendly with her, I'll castrate your ass. Hey, you listen here, you little bitch. Nobody comes into my kitchen and threatens me. I was three tours in Nam and I'll snap your neck like a fucking twig! Let me get 
get my food now? Want some fucking food? I'll give you some fucking food. Bye. You don't come into this fucking kitchen talking shit. Hey, Jeff, whose kitchen is this? It's Andrew. Andrew Blocker. God damn it, Jeff, I got you this job and I can take it away. Whose fucking kitchen is it? It's your kitchen. Just leave me alone. It's fucking Larry's kitchen. Larry's fucking kitchen! Larry's fucking kitchen! Hey, Tiffany. Oh, hey, Donnie. Did you make friends with that cripple kid? Cut it out, Kim. Hey, Donnie is really sweet. Mind if I stay with you guys? Yeah, of course. Boy, that cook is not a nice guy. You have no idea. Why? Did he do something? <laughs> What are you gonna do about it? Romeo run him over? For real? Ken? <laughs> Cut it out. What? Look at him! Brain power? A lot stronger than physical power. Some of the greatest villains in comic book history are weaker than the superhero counterparts. But doesn't the hero always end up beating them? Seriously? Cut it out. God. Hey, Tiffany. Hey. Hey. I'm really sorry. Look, uh, I just wonder if I could talk to you about Felicia. Todd, who's that guy over there? Well, Art? He keeps staring at me. Oh, he's just a groundskeeper. I think he's a little slow, but... It's harmless. Why do you call him Marsh? That's his name. Uh, Atlanta Marsh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What about Felicia? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to explain. Me and her dated briefly last summer, and I kind of ended it once I realized what type of person she was. I don't understand why you're telling me this. You just, you seem like a good person. I just didn't, I didn't want her to chase you off, that's all. Okay. Um, she won't. Yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll see you around. Okay, I guess. Well, see you. Bye. Girl, you must have gave him one hell of a first impression. <laughs> Did you go all in? What? Are you serious? <laughs> that boy is so into you. <laughs> Guys, we are just friends. What are you talking about? Oh, Tiffany! <laughs> I want her chasing you away! <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, come All on. All right, guys. <laughs> he seems furby for you. Cut it out, seriously. <laughs> Todd seems like an alright guy and everything, but she hardly knows him. I mean, she should keep her options open until she gets to know everyone. Zach! What do you want? I'm busy. Bob wants to see you. Well, he's gonna have to wait. Now, Zach! Like I don't have enough to do today. You gotta come and bother me now, too, huh? Why don't you go find Michael or Todd? I'm sure those guys aren't doing anything. Hey! What? I'm not the one who wanted to see you. Bob is. And he has to see you specifically. Zach! <laughs> you asshole! Oh, what is it? I'm in the middle of something. Sit down, Zach. Did you take that kid Donnie to the wrong cabin? What? No. Really? Because everyone is telling me you took him to Felicia's cabin. 
Bob, it was close enough. He could see the fucking cabin. I'm sure you know that not many people around here like you. Hey, man, there's no skin off my nuts. Zach, I go to bat for you every year because you've never done me wrong. Well, thank you, Bob. Until now. You've really stepped in some shit, and now you're going to have to eat it. Felicia filed a complaint about being spied on, and you caused that crippled kid to get knocked out of his wheelchair. Look, Bob. So starting now, I'm putting you in charge of Donnie's well-being for the rest of the summer. Bob, you can't do that. That's not fair. I don't want to hear it. If that kid breaks both his arms, you'll be the one wiping his ass. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Hey, Tiffany. Oh, hey, Donnie. All right, I'll come back to get you in an hour. Well, you're not going to stay hang out, man? Oh, you, you want me to come hang out with you? Yeah, man, we're friends. I am not your fucking friend! Later, losers. I'm gonna go work out. See you, Zach! Fuck off, Donnie! <laughs> He's such a kidder. So, Donnie, I'd also like you to meet Stacy, and over here is Hampton. Oh. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Hamilton. Hampton. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, wait. How do you go to the bathroom in that thing? You have to sit down to pee? Yeah. Do you have, um, feeling, like, down there? Oh my god, you guys. Donnie, you don't have to answer any of that. You don't have to stand up for me. I've, I've got tough skin. Well, Donnie, I think you're a stand-up guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? He said he's got tough skin. He can take a joke. Well, I would uh, give you a stay ovation, if I could. <laughs> it looks like that uh, joke got off on the uh, wrong foot. Yeah. Yep. So, Kimberly, you know it's camp tradition for all the new counselors to go skinny dipping on their first night at camp. Not happening. Oh, come on. You don't want to break camp tradition now, do you? I think you just want to see me naked. Look, I swear, ask Todd. Yeah, that's uh, not a thing. Damn it, man. So, Tiffany, you've been talking about some type of... Was it a legend earlier or something like that? I mean, yeah, there was this, um, this camp legend that they used to tell us every year when I used to go to camp here. Hey, Roger, you ever hear of any camp legend before? No, never. Tell us. Tell it. Okay. So, it goes something like this. Some time ago, there was a boy here named Mikey. He used to spy on girls when they were in the shower and through their windows when they were changing. They even had a nickname for him, Mikey Might See. So one day, he was spying on two counselors having sex. So they decided to teach him a lesson. They took him to the woods and tied him to a tree. The men to come back an hour later to free him, but they got high and they forgot. So, they go back in the morning to get him, and he's not there. All that's left is a blood-soaked tree. Some say that a wild animal ate his face off. And there are some who believe that he lurks in these very woods to this day, waiting to get revenge. <laughs> 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 oh my god! We're just having a little fun. Seriously, none of you heard that story before, really? Of course we've heard the story. We've all heard it. And everyone knows we don't tell that story around here anymore. The mask, Mr. Deterris. Oh, Bob, we were just playing around. Everybody's heard it. Actually, I haven't. Oh, fuck off, Donnie. Rules are rules. I expect everyone to follow them all the time. Understood? Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Lady. Roger, for your part in this, you got the early shift in the morning. 
Back to your cabin. Yes, Bob. Man, he took my mask and the fun police. So look, sorry about lying about the whole camp legend thing. Honestly, it's cool. I get it. Well, look, I, uh, I actually gotta get going. Really? You're leaving? Yeah. Kind of important. I have to take care of it. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, totally. Okay. Bye. All right, Larry, we out. Bye, sugar bear. Excuse me, Larry. John, what's going What's up, bro? You come down and do some coke? No. Uh, I'm just coming out to talk to you about Tiffany. So what, she asked you to fucking come down and see if I go up there and fuck her? I actually just come by to ask you to leave her alone. Dude, she looks like she's 17 years old. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of her in her ass. Listen, Larry, if you don't leave her alone, I'm gonna have to call Miss Crow. Ho, ho, hold on, buddy. There's no reason to fucking involve that bitch at all, all right? Look, I'll tell you what we can do, all right? How about, how about I fuck you? Or since you're so hot on this little fucking girl, how about I fuck her and make you watch? When I'm done, maybe I'll let you smell my fucking fingers. Come into my kitchen and put your fucking balls out like that? How about we do this? How about I take that pretty fucking face and put it in that goddamn pot? I'll serve you up to those little fucking bastards for lunch. And get the fuck out of here, you little motherfucker, before I fuck you too. Hey, Donnie. I'm really sorry about the jokes earlier. It must get pretty old, huh? Nah, it's just innocent jokes. You know, when you look like me, you kinda gotta be able to take a jab. So I try to see the humor in all of it and try to fit in instead of feeling bad about it. Mm. What about you? You okay if they were messing with you about that whole camp legend thing? Yeah, I'm fine. It was a good prank. But I'll get him back. Don't you worry. Okay. What? You don't think I can be scary? <laughs> I don't think you'd be very good at it. What? Why? Is it because I'm a girl? Mm, well, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I don't think I like you very much anymore. Oh, oh, oh what was that I just heard? Oh, did you just say that you like me? <laughs> well, I did, but definitely not anymore. Too pretty to be scary anyway. Now you're just sucking up. Hey, look, that whole skinny dipping thing is true. Todd was just being a dick. It's not happening. Look, you can't trick me. But you can vibe me. Oh, really? Yeah. You get me high again? I'll probably do all kinds of things. I'm out. Well, you're out of luck. I can get more. I just need to go see someone. Well, when you get more, then come see me. It's getting late. I think we should head out. Okay. Oh, you're leaving? Yeah, you know what? She's right, it's late and I'm pretty tired. Well, we barely got to hang out. Well, we'll hang out tomorrow. All right then. What about you? Zach isn't here. Michael can watch him. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, this bench is hurting my ass. Do you, uh, want me to kiss it and make it feel better? You can watch it walk away while you wait for Zach. Steal. Alright, good night, Donnie. Good night, Tiffany.
Or this douchebag anyway. Hey, what'd you say about me, freak? Were you just lurking in the dark? How sad is your life that you have to lurk in the shadows to spy on me? I wasn't lurking, shithead, so shut up before I pound your face in. Are you sure it's my face you want to pound? What? Don't deny it. I've seen the way you look at me. Now you're lurking in the shadows, talking about how you want to pound me. Hey, look, I get it, okay? I'd fuck me too. If you say the word lurking one more time, I will fucking murder you. Those are tough words coming up from a meathead. You're not worth it. It's no yes. retard. But I'm not retarded. My legs just don't work. <laughs> no, really? Let's check. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize you two were a couple. Hey, I don't like Speed Racer any more than you do, but I'm not gonna punch a crippled kid in a wheelchair. What's the difference? He didn't feel it. You know what, man? I'm gonna push your leg. Ooh, I'm so scared. Did you go back to lurking? He's just jealous. Because we were talking to Tiffany and Kimberly while he was crying in the woods. <laughs> What'd you say about me, little thick? <laughs> Bust it! I knew you were lurking in the shadows. Did you just say he was crying? That's yeah. bullshit. I was not crying. You take that back, Gimp. I'll rip your damn head off. Hey, man. You brought this on yourself. All right. But if either of you two say anything about this to Mr. Linky, I will make your lives a living hell. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Larry's gonna give you the fucking secret sauce, you little bastards. Oh, yeah. You didn't fucking tell me you're 20 years old. I know. What the fuck do you want, asshole? What are you doing with that mask? You trying to scare me? All that does is make my fucking dick harder. Look at that. That's right. Yeah, if you want to see something special. Oh! 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 Where is he? Who, uh, who, I don't know. Don't lie for him, Cornelius. I know that you know exactly where he is. Did he leave camp? Huh? Where, where is he? Is he in, in a bar, in jail, in a motel? Tell me now. This girl, I don't know. He was here last night. That's last I seen him. You guys, Todd. Todd? <clears throat> Todd! Todd, come in here, please. Todd. Mm hmm Do you see that fucking piece of shit cook? Larry? No, I, I haven't seen him. Oh, really? Oh, you haven't no. seen him? No. no, well, that's funny because Cornelius here says that you were in the kitchen last night and you saw him. So what were you doing, huh? Yo, no, actually, uh, I was actually just coming by to see what's for lunch today. Ah, oh, lunch. Really? Really? Lunch? That's it? Yeah, yeah. Did he tell you where he was going? Uh, no, no. He just, no, no, no. Michael, did he tell you where he was going? He doesn't tell me much. God damn it. Just get the fuck out. Just go. 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 I'm done. You know what, Cornelius? I've had it. OK? I am done. His ass is fucking toast. He's out. So you know what? Now you are the head cook. I will uh, think you something out. I'll get you a new team. This must go. Larry the cook just got canned. What? Are you serious? That's awesome. That guy was such a perk. Hell yeah, it was. And you can thank our friend Todd the badass over here for it. Really? No, 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 no. Hell yeah, man, come on. Look, after you told Todd the stuff that Larry said to you yesterday, Todd went to have a talk with him last night. Next day, Larry doesn't show up for work. Did you really go and talk to him for me? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. You know, I was gonna say something to that guy myself. Oh, fuck off, Donnie! Oh, hi. Hey. What is your damage? Stay the hell away from Todd.
Why? Because he's mine. You know, you don't own him. Stay the fuck away from him. I'm warning you. Get off me! You'll be sorry, bitch. Michael, what's up, man? Hey, skunk. What's up? How you been? Oh, you know, living the dream. I hear that. Kimberly? It's a skunk. Skunk, this is Kimberly. Your name is Skunk. You look like a skunk. Why, thank you. <laughs> Who's she? Oh, this is my silent partner. We call her Spider. Dude, that's your mom. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Michael. How have you been? I'm good. What are you doing out here driving Skunk around on deals? This shit box broke down again. Mom, it's not a shit box. It's a classic. <laughs> See, uh, Skunk here has been my weed dealer all eight years of camp. You have weed? I won't have it till tomorrow night at the earliest. Right, Mom? Wait, what? Dude, it's the slow season. I gotta have the cash before I get the grass, son. You mean to tell me you drug my ass all the way through them woods for nothing? Dude, you could have told me this on the phone. I didn't find out until after the fact. Do you want the weed or not? Look, you gotta bring it to my cabin by tomorrow night. Yeah, but I don't wanna walk all the way up to your cabin. That's far. I don't wanna go through those woods. Man, you owe me. Tomorrow night, cabin three. Fine, fine. <sighs> Page turner, let me tell you what. Look, I'm sorry I said the other day, please just leave me alone, Zach. <laughs> Donnie, man, I'm not here to mess with you. You're not? No. And I accept your apology. Well, good. This girl has no nipples. Yeah, I know. Look. I know I have a bit of a temper sometimes. Yeah, you're a dick. Right. But Mr. Leahy... You're a giant dick. Mr. Leahy put me in charge of you. So I think we just need to put everything in the past and move on, okay? Yeah, that... sure, that sounds great. Perfect. So you ready to go? Where? To the campfire. There's another one? <laughs> yeah. No, we have one every night. They all told me to uh, come up here and grab you. Roll you on down. You know, I, I, was, I was really kind of in you know, my comic here, so I, uh, I was kind of going to sit this one out. Suit yourself. Have a good night. All right. Oh, um, you know, Tiffany was asking about you. I'll just let her know that you're going to hang out here tonight. Take it easy. Okay? All right. Later, man. Wait, 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 Zach, 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 Zach. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. Hey, you guys. What's going on? You guys gotta come down to the lake. There's something you need to see. What? Oh my God. What the hell happened? I don't know, but this don't look good. Alon found Donnie's wheelchair like this. What? Do you think he drowned? Unless he could swim better than he could walk. Oh my God, Donnie. Oh my God. Damn it! Two dead kids in three years? This is gonna fucking ruin me. No one is gonna wanna send their kid here. I think we're gonna be okay. What makes you think that? So far, there's no body. And? No body, no death. 
We gotta call the sheriff, Michelle. Oh, and while I completely agree with you, there's really nothing to report. Really? I think you should file a missing person report and then open camp on schedule. Do you think that'll work? Of course. I mean, Donnie, he's an adult. He probably just wandered off on his own free will. But we found his wheelchair. Get rid of the wheelchair. Get the other counselors on board. You call the sheriff. But Bob. Roger, just do what the hell I tell you to. All right, talk to me. All right. According to what I got from the counselors, mm -hmm. last time anybody saw him was about seven last night. Yeah, that's what they told us as well. Uh, well, I think it's a little early to consider him missing. Usually we like it to be at least 48 hours before we open up a missing person's case. Well, Sheriff, I just wanted to be on the safe side. Understood, understood. All right, well, listen, uh, how about we'll be in touch tomorrow? Actually, if you just... Michelle's direct number to the office. That way I can call her uh, if I hear anything. Oh, uh, no, no. Bob, do not give him my number. All right, sit away. Come on. Hey. And I wouldn't worry about him. I know you all look worried. He probably just went off on a hike, enjoying the breeze. He'll turn up. <laughs> not likely. What do you mean by that, not likely? You mean not likely? Wait, he's not the type to go on a hike? What, is he fat? You don't think fat guys go on a hike, huh? Because you're a cross country runner from high school and you picked on the fat people? Is that what it is? Because he's too slow for you? Donnie's in a wheelchair, Roman. He's in a fucking wheelchair. So we got a slow, fat kid in a wheelchair. <laughs> Around here. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of places a kid could go in a wheelchair by himself here, Chef. Well, has anyone contacted his parents? Twice so far, officer, but so far, no answer. All right, well, stay on it. What, now the urgency? I mean, he hasn't been gone that long. You got a fucking kid in a wheelchair that just Houdini'd out of your camp, and you don't find that strange. None of you find that strange, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what happened here. I'm gonna tell you all what happened here. Y'all like to play pranks, right? Ain't that right, Mr. Kata? You and the sweat hogs playing a little prank on the wheelchair kid? No. How about you, Maria Consuela? Habla Espanol? No speaking English? <laughs> Ivan Drago. Uh, hmm? Did you beat him up? Hmm? Uh -huh. I must break you. No, Sheriff. Uh -huh. Ooh, look what we got here. Karate Kid. Let me ask you something, Daniel son. Did you wax off with the poor wheelchair kid a couple times? And then decide to sweep his leg so he didn't talk? No way. You can't put this on me. <laughs> Deputy Sidawa. Sidawa, Sheriff. Yeah. Remind me how many times we've gotten calls about Danny Zuko here getting in little tussles with the rest of the counselors. I believe that would be four times, Sheriff. Yeah, so what? That doesn't prove anything. It proves you're a four-time loser. You're a fucking mall cop. You watch your ass. Yes, sir. What are you trying to hide back there, pony boy? Nothing. Did you mess with Johnny or Donnie? Nope. What do we got here? Hmm? Blair, Tootie, and Mrs. Garrett. Remember the one about the cousin who loved you so much she didn't know how to tell you? I think we all remember that. And I think we all remember how you did terrible, terrible things to that boy in the wheelchair, right? And tried to cover it up with a pillow fight. Bikini pillow fight. Maybe. You wanna tell me something? You wanna say something? They don't know anything, man. Roman, isn't this a little bit excessive? He's gonna show up eventually. All right. right now, I don't have enough evidence. But I'm gonna be looking into it.
Oh, great. It's happened again, hasn't it? What the hell are you doing here? Now, Mickey, come on now. I told you you can't be coming up here harassing these camp folks. If there's another one dead? Nobody is dead, and you need to stay off that scanner. It's none of your concern, lady. How many more bodies, Sheriff, are you just gonna sweep under the rug? You're all a part of this. You're gonna get it. You just wait and see. Roman, will you do something with this bitch? Sidwell, get her the fuck out of here. Miss McGlynn, you gotta get back in your truck and leave these people alone. No. Come on, Mama, we gotta go. Somebody's gonna pay for my Mikey's death. Throw the scanner out. You know, I wish you'd arrest her when she acts like this. She's unstable. Hey, that woman lost her son, all right? I think you can have a little compassion, especially coming from you and you. In the meantime, eight is enough. Listen up. If you see or hear anything, don't try to be heroes. Call law enforcement. In the meantime, we'll uh, get a hold of his parents. See if they got in touch with him, okay? Everything's gonna be all right. He's gonna show back up. It's all gonna be good. All right, sit a while. Sit a while. Five dollars says so that kid's already bear shit. I ain't taking that bet. <laughs> I almost had you. All right, how about ten? Thank God. The camp legend is true? Mikey's real? No. That is just a story. Well, then who was that, Bob? That was Miss McGlynn. That is the reason we don't talk about dead campers around here. Her son, Michael, died here two years ago from a peanut butter sandwich. A sandwich killed him? It was a peanut allergy. Who's even ever heard of anything like that? That's why we don't talk about dead campers. And Michael, don't think I didn't notice that you took that mask out of my office. Bob, I didn't take it. If I see that thing again, your ass is mine. Everyone, back to work. I don't think I can keep pretending that everything's normal knowing that Donnie is gone. Shouldn't we have told him about the wheelchair? And what good would it have done? If Donnie's in that lake, there's nothing any of us can do for him. Well, then they have to look for the body. And eventually they will. But look, had we told the sheriff about the wheelchair, they would have canceled camp this year. Think about the children. What about Marsh? You know, shouldn't they have questioned him? What for? He doesn't know any more than we do. Marsh found the wheelchair, Hampton. Tiffany, trust me. The guy's harmless. Yeah, I mean, he's a freak, but I don't think it would hurt anyone. He's just like a big child. This, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right, okay? Listen, it's not Elaine's fault. I'm sure Donnie would have wanted us to just all move on. This is your fault! I didn't do anything! Bullshit! Everybody know you took him down there! You can't prove that. You're the one sorry enough to do it! Dude, forget him, man. Let's go. Come on! Get off! Did you believe that guy? Uh, yeah, actually.
my way, ass face. I'm not in the mood. down Michael you piece of shit I'm gonna kick your ass when I get down yeah what are you trying to scare me I know it's your mask asshole All right, man, cut the shit. Cut me down. You think I'm in a lot of shit. If you don't get me down, Mr. Leahy's gonna fire your ass. Hey, you know this is kidnapping, right? Look, man, just stop. Please, just stop. What do you want to hear, huh? Yeah, I admit it. I took Donnie to the lake, but I had nothing to do with him drowning. I was not supposed to know the retard was going to fall into the water. Hey, man. Hey, Sasha, it's a waste! Here. Oh. Jackpot for skunk. This is my lucky day. Where's that beef? Tell me where that beef is. Oh. Oh. There's that beef. There's that beef. Oh. Wow, that's a fight. Who? Hey, man, who's there? Oh my god, Miss Crow. Miss Crow, I am so sorry. I, I, I'll stay out of here. Don't play, cut my dick off, please. I just. Wait a minute. You're not Miss Crow. Whew. What are you, the maintenance man or something? Uh, visiting hours are, what's with the hammer, dude? Come on, get lost. What is this? I'm not touching like, it. I don't understand. Like, this food wasn't this bad when I went to camp here. No, it was. Eggos, honey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Twinkies. Bagel bites? Yeah. Yes. 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 It sounds so good. Yes. Yes. Oh, All right. Try it. I don't know if you can touch that. Oh, oh, I don't. Oh, what, what is this? I don't blame you. You have mm. these men. Mm. It won't even come off like a horse back in my childhood. <laughs> Where's Zach? It's like, I haven't seen him. Yeah. He hasn't been here all morning. Son of a bitch. What? What's up? We went to his cabin to talk to him more about the Donnie situation, and he's not there. And his stuff is gone, too. He probably quit. He knew none of us wanted him here. Well, great. That officially makes us short-staffed. Now I'm going to have to make phone calls and see if I can get somebody here to replace him. 
Hey, just call Frank. Frank is in jail, Michael. Why is it always the good ones? Hey. Hey, Kimberly. So look, Skunk, he never showed up last night. I was thinking that maybe we could work something else out. Sorry, Mike. No weed, no fun. But we don't need weed to have fun. Look, I got a whole case of beer back at the cabin. Look, honey, I will drink with you all night long. But if I'm not getting high, you're not getting off. Sorry, bud. Not so good, Jill. What's the matter? I'm in pain. Well, why don't you have a seat and we'll get you checked out. Okay, so tell me where it hurts. It's in my groin. Well, did you pull something? Not yet. Uh, well, how did it happen? It was Kimberly's fault. Kimberly? Yeah, you know, the new counselor. She was supposed to give me a hand with something, but then that bitch backed out. Michael, you know you shouldn't be lifting heavy things by yourself. Well, I know that. That's why I came to you. All right. Um, let me see if I can figure out what the problem is. Is it... here? Mm-mm. It's... it's lower. Oh, Michael, why do you have an erection? What? It's a compliment. Oh, Michael, are you even in pain? Yes. Well, what kind of pain? Blue balls. Oh, Michael, do you have any idea how unprofessional this is? Well, what about the other counselors? I mean, they're off having sex, shouldn't you? I mean, look at you. You are the hottest babe at camp. Is that so, Mr. Deterris? Damn straight it is. Continued. I do love sneaking around with you. God, you look just like Burt Reynolds. I wish I didn't have to leave tonight, but I'll be back tomorrow night and we can meet down by the lake after lights out. Done. <sighs> oh, Miss Crowell, how can I help Drop you? Drop the pleasantries, Jill. Where's Michael? I saw him come in here. I don't know. He actually just left. And why'd he come in here? Well, I'm a nurse, so I'm sure you can figure the rest out for yourself. Oh, please. Like that little scumbag could hurt himself. Maybe if he was thinking too hard. Why are you following him anyway? I have my reasons. And what about Larry and Zach, huh? Did they come in for a little checkup too? Well, I heard that Larry quit. <laughs> Larry. Larry quit. Yeah, right. Like I'm that lucky. The only way Larry would leave is if I dragged him out on his ass, and you know it. There's something going on here, and I'm gonna figure it out. Well, Miss Crowell, the detective, you know what? I bet you and your boyfriend, the sheriff, could go around solving mysteries together. Don't you dare talk about shit more to me. And I know that Michael came in here not to be treated for anything. So let me remind you. That staff relationships are forbidden. And if I find out you're screwing around, I will throw you out on your tiny little ass. Have a good day, Jill. Bye. Oh, baby, Jill. Fuck off. <sighs> wow, what's her problem? I don't know. Hi, Roger. How can I help you? I've got this pain and this won't go away. What's wrong? I 
Well, this is kind of nice, huh? Yeah. It's, it's great. You okay? Everybody was making fun of him. I just, I feel like I could have done more to prevent it. Are you kidding me? You were the nicest to him. You treat him like an actual person. Not like a joke. But he wanted to hang out with me at the campfire and I didn't. Maybe Zach wouldn't have done what he did had I been there. Listen, I know there's a lot of regrets at this camp on how people treated Donnie. But hey, none of those regrets are for you, okay? I mean, Donnie wouldn't want you to go through this. You're a beautiful person. Baby, is everything okay out there? Would you knock this shit off, babe? You know I don't like when you play around. Seriously, Stacy, you're breaking my concentration in here. Oh, stop! Babe, you okay? <laughs> you are such a scary cat. That's not funny. Don't play. Oh, is the poor little Hampton so scared? left Todd alone, bitch. Meet me in the art room, Todd. I knew it! I knew it!
Todd. You in here? This isn't a game, Todd. Todd? What's this? Some kind of role play? Have I been a bad girl? Are you gonna punish me? How? <laughs> what the hell, Todd? Todd? Hey, uh, what's wrong? He's after me. Who? I don't know. I didn't see his face. He had a mask. Are you gonna help me or not? What do you want us to do? I don't know. You're big and you're black. Go kick his ass. Where is he at? He's outside, over there. Hurry. Huh? All right. You stay here. We'll go check it out. Wait, she happened me to kick his ass because I was big and black? I think she did. <sighs> She's crazy. She wanted the same shit Larry was on. I have no idea what she's talking about. I don't see shit. Yeah, she's crazy. It has to be. <laughs> Fuck this, you can have them. Spoiled ass white kids. Nope.
back. You know what I'm thinking? Never. I'm thinking that we gotta really pay attention to that Zach and Michael guy. Because if anyone knows what happened to that kid, I'm thinking it's one of them. Sheriff? Yeah. You think that's suspicious? What? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Doing. Cool. Sir, you need some help? Hey, hey, hey! I will ask the questions, all right? So, um, what's with the blood? What? It's paint. <laughs> it's paint. <laughs> Been there, done that. Paint can be a mess. Yeah, especially if you're not trained. What's up with the knife? Found it. Oh, hey, you know what? Just hand it over here. If nobody comes to claim it, I, I, okay, thank you. <laughs> nobody comes to claim it in 72 hours, it's yours. All right, just stop on by to the department. All right. I always remember a nice face. A nice kid. Put that in one down when we get back to the apartment. Mm. Good kid. Sheriff, mm -hmm. I really think we need to investigate that man a little further. You know what your problem is? You just profiled someone, you know? Profiling people is wrong. Sheriff, does yeah. that look suspicious to you? Freeze! That's far enough! Now one more step there! That's it! <laughs> All right, now turn around, rerun. That's it. Now walk back to me slowly. Now give me a little moonwalk. That's right. Slow, slow. That's right. There you go, buddy. All right, Isaac, now stop! Couple. Hey, maybe they're taking a hike. I don't fucking know. It doesn't like, make sense. All of them? For this long? Like, one after the other? They didn't disappear at the same time. They just, they, they're just gone. Like, there's people missing. They've got they other can't... things to Michelle, do. Michelle, where is everyone? We don't fucking know, Bob. Okay, Felicia, Stacy, Hampton, they're all missing, okay? They're not in their cabins, and I don't know where they are. Cornelius isn't here either. <sighs> the hell is going on around here? Something's, something's not right. What if Zach and Larry didn't just quit? Then we have seven missing people. Oh my god. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? You know what, Bob? I really think we need to do something. I'm gonna go ahead and call Sheriff for one more. You get a little workout in, weren't you now? You don't seem like the type that would jog. So where are you running? Why are you running? I'm running from the camp. Camp Trustfall? Yes, I'm the cook there. Well, I can tell you like to eat what you cook. No wonder those kids so skinny. Why are you running? Because the damn devil is after me. You know, the devil only punishes the wicked. So what'd you do, son? I just witnessed someone die and other people could be in danger. Well, that sounds like a threat and a confession. Confession? Oh, so we agree. You murdered that poor little old cripple kid. And you thought you'd get away with it. Perfect murder. So you ran into me? Mm-hmm. Now all I need is the body, son. If it's not chopped up and in your belly right now, why don't you tell me where it is? Or the murder weapon? You know where that is? There's no murder weapon. I didn't kill it. Deputy, control it! Whoa, 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 whoa! Deputy, get oh, whoa! 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 No, no, whoa! What did not, I just find on you? Even my <laughs> You're going back to prison, buddy. Where are you going? I'm going to get Sheriff Wilmore. I'll be back as fast as I can. You're just gonna leave us here? I have no choice. The phone lines are down. I need to get a hold of the sheriff. I'm leaving you and Michelle in charge. What the fuck? 
I just bought this thing. Bob, what's going on, man? My fucking Corvette won't start. Why don't we go try our cars, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do that. What happened? All of the vehicles have been sabotaged. So what do we do now? I want all of you to stay here. I'm gonna walk to the sheriff's office. Are you crazy? That's like 10 miles away. Listen, I have to do this. I want you to stay here with Roger. Lock yourself in the cab. Are you kidding me? You're, you're gonna leave me alone here with Roger? One of them is doing this. We need to keep everybody separated. I'm going to town to try to get the sheriff and come back. I'll be back as quickly as I can. Hello? Dude, this blows. I should be out there meeting Nurse Hot Pants right now. Todd? Screw it. Michael, is that you? Michael, are you reenacting all those times you stood outside my window and watched me get undressed? You know, I always knew you were watching. Do you like what you see? You know, you can look and touch. Well, Michael, what the fuck are you doing? Are you gonna get in here and fuck me or what? Who the fuck are you? You better stop that. You're starting to freak me out.
Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone calling for help. Yep. So we should do something. We are. We're doing exactly what Michelle told us to do. Kim, we can't just do nothing. <laughs> yes, we can. It's literally the easiest thing we can do. Would you leave me out there? Don't do that. That's different. Why? Because you're my best friend. We don't know who that is. It's someone's best friend. I just, I keep thinking of Donnie and how nobody was there to help him. How I couldn't help him. But we can help them. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. You're not gonna keep doing this to me. We shouldn't be dealing with whatever's going on out there. The safest thing we can do is stay here. You can stay, but I'm going. Are you coming? A light on in the kitchen. Okay. Wait, what if this is a trap? No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Don't be a scaredy cat. Oh, please don't be a trap. Please don't be a trap. Please don't be a trap. Just, it's fine. You, you can do this. You can do this, Tiff. You can do this. See if you can find someone to help. Just, just check out the kitchen. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to be afraid of, you know. Why did you stop? Look, I need you to trust me. Close your eyes. Why? I need you to trust me on this one. Hold my hand and close your eyes until I tell you. Okay.
somebody's gonna pay for my little Mikey stuff. <sighs> Bob, I don't regret a thing. You can call the shit! <laughs> Find Mike, but I, I don't. I don't see him anywhere. Todd, I couldn't find anybody else. They're dead. They're all dead. Everybody. Come on, come on. her. No one else has to die. You stay away from her, man. Me? Stay away from her. It's you I'm concerned about. I think she's gotten into your head. She hasn't done anything. I knew you were going to protect her. Something's got to happen. What are you gonna do, call the cops? We can't have that now, can we? Whether you like it or not, you're part of this now. But you and I, we can fix this. We can figure this out. We've got each other's backs, don't we? Of course. You know I always got your back, man. And I've got your back. But her, she's bad news, man. Why? What did I ever do to you? You're a virus. <sighs> Everything was fine until you showed up. And then it all turned to shit. It's not her fault. Well, then whose fault is it? It's yours. I didn't cause this. Trying to save you, man. What? By killing her? It's her, me, Todd. Someone's got to go down for this. And I know she's not going to take the fall willingly. So whose side are you on? <laughs> Mike, I'm not going to let you touch her. Tiffany, run! <laughs> Todd, where are 
you, man. I saw you come in here. It's a real dick move hitting me with that bat. I don't know what happened to you, man. You and I are best friends. I take a bullet for you. But if you're going to protect her, then you're just as guilty as she is. Mrs. Krause said I was getting too old to be a counselor. This is going to be my last year at camp. It was going to be the best one. And then she had to come in and ruin us. There you are. Come here. Come here. Come here. God. Sheriff, got another survivor. Oh my God, Donnie! Donnie, holy shit! Hey. Oh Glad my you're God, all right. It's okay. What the hell, man? Oh, I'm so glad. Thought I was a goner. Yeah, so did I. Help me, damn, son! You are one lucky bastard. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? I, I, I'm fine. Just a couple of bumps and bruises. What happened? Can you, can you remember anything? I was left down by the lake at night, and then. Guy came out and attacked me with a mask. That's that's all I really remember. And it's gonna come back to you. We'll get you to the hospital and you get checked out. I don't. I don't think I need it. It's not that bad. One of your guys already patched me up. That ain't a doctor, okay? Oh. And I'm not a doctor either. All right? Wow, that, that you could be hammering. That's serious. Look at that. Oh, you could be hammering. That, there could be some oh, internal bleeding. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. You see that? You see that? That's like some seizuring you're doing right there. No, 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 no. no. Hey, Sheriff, my mom's here. Can she take me to the hospital? Well, protocol is that I should escort you both down to the hospital, but I'm gonna be honest, and I can't see why that wouldn't hurt. Sure. Can Dottie come too? Yeah, all right, all right. Take Dottie, don't let him get near you. Put him in the back seat, all right? Okay, yeah, right. you got it, Sheriff. Hey, Donnie. 
You're going to be on your feet in no time, buddy. All right? <laughs> Joe, let me help you with that. Let me help you with that. All right, buddy. Oh, God! Donnie! <laughs> it's good kids. Of all fucking people, Donnie Brett survived. Well, life is the shit, huh? Speak the shit. Can you go wrangle me up some TP? Yeah, sure. I'll go around back. Hey, whatever happened with that landscaper, Alon Marsh? I got some questions for him. I haven't seen him. I've had a lot going on. Mm. Well, you know, you name a kid Alon, they end up mowing a lawn. Hey, Sheriff. What is it? Look what I caught trying to sneak into the woods. Ooh, -hoo. well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite drug dealer, Mr. James Mitchell. What the fuck are you doing on my crime scene? The name is Skunk. Now, say it and don't spray it and cut the shit, James. What are you doing here? I had nothing to do with any of this, Sheriff. I was visiting a friend here at camp, and out of nowhere, some psycho attacked me with a mallet. Instead of being in handcuffs, I should be calling my lawyer, because I'm pretty sure there's a lawsuit hey, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow the roll, Matlock. You don't have a lawyer. The hell I don't. Who's your lawyer? Lawyer, uh, my lawyer's Finkelstein, man. Oh, okay. That sounds like a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Who are you gonna sue? I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue Camp Trustful. I'm gonna own this camp and I'm gonna own you. You better believe it. What are you suing me for? Suing the camp's fine. Not suing me. Police brutality. I haven't done anything to you yet. Get him the fuck out of here. Come on. Hey, you're lucky to be alive. <sighs> Fucking skunk. Where did you guys find the wheelchair? Bob! Bob! Yes, sir! Get over here. Looking everywhere for stool of paper. Uh -huh. Couldn't find any. All I found was these problems. That is disgusting. But I do have to go. Where the hell did you find the wheelchair? Found it with the kid. Why? I was just curious. Well, stop being curious, all right? Hey, Sheriff. What is it, Sedora? So they finally got back to us with IDs on the three John Doe's found at the uh, convenience store in Standardville. Yeah. So as suspected, one of the victims is the store clerk, mm -hmm. Alex Costanza. The other two names, Henry Bratz and his son, Donnie Bratz. Fuck. Donnie Bratz? Hey, ain't that the name of that melon-headed wheelchair kid? Autopsy confirmed, Donnie Bratz was a paraplegic. There was no wheelchair found with the bodies. Say that again. No wheelchair found with the bodies. Son of a bitch. Have a nice day, Alex. You too, Mark. And watch out for the weirdos. Oh, excuse me. Help! Help! Cut it out. But let's just go. We still have to pay. You don't be late for your precious camp trust fall orientation, do you? Hurry the hell up. Shut the fuck up, boy. Or I'll make you crawl in there and get your own goddamn cigarettes. Yeah, and for long we've been going to that shitty camp. You can't wait to get rid of me. I'll get your goddamn cigarettes. Yeah, they better be the right ones or I'm not smoking them. Maybe Camp Trustfall will have your brand. Anybody here? I need some fucking smokes. You 
done yet. Okay, Donnie, you wait here. I'm gonna go get us some sticks and marshmallows for the campfire. Where's everyone else? Uh, they all went to go get lighter fluid. Seems excessive, but okay. Okay, don't roll an inch. I'll try not to. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay. Tony. Mike. Are you okay? Mike, you gotta listen to me. It was Tiffany. She killed everybody, man. What? I'm telling you, it's Tiffany. It's Tiffany. <laughs> Todd's helping her, man. Tiffany's doing everything and Todd is helping her. Are you are you sure? You gotta listen to me, man. You gotta listen to me. 